All right, questions for Astro General Manager James Click. Chandler Rome, start us off. James, can you kind of give us a, a timeline of how this went down, when when talks began, and, and how quickly this came together? Um, like with any trade, there are fits and starts. Sometimes it felt like we were on the doorstep, and then sometimes it felt like it wasn't going to happen. Uh, but it is something that we have been talking about for a little bit, and then uh, ultimately came together earlier the earlier this morning uh, into the afternoon. Brian McTaggart. What kind of impact does getting a, a reliever like uh, Graveman get for you guys? Is this something obviously you felt you needed to do as soon as possible to upgrade the bullpen? Yeah, we we were very impressed with him. Uh, we've obviously seen him up close and personal. Uh, he's a guy that, that I know uh, our, our hitters in our clubhouse has been very impressed with and being able to have him on our side uh, is something that I think we're all looking forward to what impact he can have with, with his ability to, to get big outs uh, and to, to sort of lengthen our bullpen a little bit, I think is, is one critical step in the right direction uh, as we try to round out the rest of this roster. Big Kaplan. How does this acquisition fit into your, your bigger picture plan for the deadline? Is this, do you view this as kind of the start or is this your, your big move for the deadline? It's a move that we feel improves our roster, uh, but we are going to continue to spend the next three days finding hopefully additional moves to improve the roster. Uh, we are going to un, uh, overturn every rock, look under everything we possibly can to continue to put these guys in a position to compete for a World Series. Chris Gordy. James, he's uh, Kendall's had quite a career of just uh, uh, changes from, from a starter to reliever, all that. What, do you, what did you see out of him this year, that's really just, I mean, he's having a really special year. What, what, did you, what have you seen out of him this season? Uh, I mean, we got a, a look at it personally, uh, what, what he was able to accomplish against our team um, and the, the velocity, the movement, the command. I think he has so many weapons. He has everything you need to, to get big outs for us late in the game. Um, and beyond that, you know, we, we, we did a little digging, obviously wanted to make sure that, uh, that we knew what what a guy he was and heard nothing but good things about him uh and so really looking forward to seeing those weapons uh for us late in the game going forward how does billy james just how do you evaluate where the bullpen stands right now especially when you have some guys who are rehabbing well the bullpen like every part of the roster is something that we're constantly assessing and constantly looking for ways to uh, improve it and sometimes that means taking the pieces that we already have and, and coaching them up. And I think that's something that this organization does very well is continue to develop and improve players, even at the major league level. Um, but we are always looking to improve all aspects of the roster. This one happened to be focused on the bullpen, but we're not going to take any options off the table when it comes to trying to put ourselves in a position to compete for a world series. Down the road. James, um, do you still view Ryan Presley as your closer or, or how does this uh, impact maybe the back end? How are you going to, how are you going to use games? I mean, that's ultimately a, a Dusty's decision and, and the pitching coach's decision. Um, I, I personally don't necessarily put guys in roles uh, like closer, eighth inning, seventh inning, that kind of thing. Our job is to get 27 ounces as quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, I think Ryan has done a unbelievable job. Uh, he's an all-star, very well-deserving all-star. I think he's one of the best relievers in the game. And if we use him in the quote-unquote closer role, uh, I, I'm sure we'll be very successful there. But if this also frees us up to move guys around and get them into higher leverage spots earlier in the game, that can only benefit us. Great, Kaplan. I feel like uh, two for two major two major leaguers for two major leaguers is kind of rare these days. How did the the Smith and Toro part of it come together? And um, I guess any insight you can share into that side of it? Yeah, it, I guess it is a little unusual to have a, a deal that is entirely major league for major league. But I think this is uh, a good baseball trade that works out for both sides. We obviously prioritize the right now what's right in front of us and getting a couple what we feel are high leverage arms in the bullpen uh but he can't say enough good things about abraham toro he has a very bright future in front of him his positional versatility his power which he's shown off the past couple of days 
it's, it's a difficult piece to, to part with. Uh, we think that he has a very bright major league career in front of him, but ultimately felt like for this team and this roster that, that this move made sense. Beyond that, I also don't want to lose sight of, of Joe Smith and just what a, a tremendous human being he is. We are going to miss him around the clubhouse. I'm going to miss my conversations with him. Um, but these are the difficult moves that, that we have to make to, to try to put this roster in the position it needs to be in. Todd uh, Cal. Hey, James, what are the immediate plans for Rafael Montero? Uh, we just spoke to him. Um, he is still in Seattle. Uh, Right now, the likely scenario is having him come to the ballpark tomorrow uh, to throw a little bit on the side, get to meet the coaches. Uh, hopefully, he'll be active for tomorrow's game. Uh, beyond that, we, we really like Rafael. This is a guy who has a, a track record of, of being very successful. Certainly, his ERA is not um, what I'm sure he would like it to be this year, but he has the talent to, to get big outs at the end of the game. And it's something that we hope that we can continue to work with him on. And we think he's going to be a big part of this team going forward. Private Tiger. Yeah, you mentioned that this morning things picked up a little bit. Um, it was just one game, but how, how much watching the game last night did it impact just the need to not only make a trade, but to do it ASAP within such a, a crucial portion of your schedule? Um, I mean, certainly it was it was a, a frustrating game and, and a, a difficult game to watch. Um, but at the same time, this is a, a deal structure that we had discussed in the past. And so from that perspective, it was not a, a reaction to the events on the field last night. Hey, Kaplan. Is, is Graveman active tonight with you guys? Uh, that is the plan. Uh, I still uh, have not gotten in touch with him, so hopefully we can uh, we can get him to walk across the hallway and get him in an Astros uniform.